Uh, I'm trying to think where else we could go in an hour. Uh, What's this? Oh, here's the um thing. What are you? Brian's house? I'm assuming that won't be open. I'm assuming we can't get into anyone's actual house today. There's a card in the middle of nowhere there. There's the raging bull. I wish it told me if like places were open. Like, oh yeah, this place is open. But no, it doesn't tell me shit. Uh, unless when they're big like that, but does that mean that they're out and about? I can't. Roaming something. It said roaming something. Also, where's Jason is at the slurry apparently. I might go over and look at that. Let's see. Yeah, it's not too far away. I could probably get there. Alright, okay, let's do that. Cause. Because I have nothing better to do. And because I probably have time. As long as they don't give me a stupid ass mission. So great at driving. Much wow. Such drive. Let's focus on the case at hand. Okay. The with the red seeds. Officially, the Bureau has not made a statement about these seeds. Some even claim that they are irrelevant to the killings. But after the red seeds were found in a Boston homicide, I've been unable to get them out of my head. I've even gone through all of the files looking for similar cases. And we found seven other homicides related to the seeds. The victims were all young girls. And they were killed in eight different states. Mm -hmm. They arrested all seven murderers, but there's no connection between them. However, we must not overlook there was one thing linking the cases together, and that's the red seeds. And I have a hunch this case here in Greenvale is going to lead us to the truth about those seeds. Don't you think so, Zach? Probably. Prob well, let's just do what we can do. Probably. Do our best. And by doing our best, I'm sure we'll get to where we need to go. Okay. That's a go. In here, because I haven't been in this place and it's open. Ooh. Oh, I can play pool? No, I can take a shovel. It's a red little kitty shovel. Yes. Okay, I'm just taking everyone's shit like it's mine. You cannot have it. Delicious. Who was this? Oh, that's the thingy. Okay. Why don't they come to this pub? This pub seems a lot better. <sighs> How are you? I feel a little better at least right now I do. So is there anything else you can tell me about the day Anna died? Yes. I had a fight with Anna the day before she was killed. About what? Anna had a bad habit. She would lie to me. She was visiting a boy, but she lied about it to me. Sally, all girls her age are like that. It doesn't make Anna a bad girl. There's nothing special about that. But she was so special. Her blonde hair was so beautiful. Such beautiful hair. I always brushed it for her. Sally? What? What's that look for? You want her hair, don't you? <laughs> was it you, then? Are you the one she was seeing behind my back? Yeah, okay, you king. Don't come near me again. near her again. There be Zach. It's all self-defense. Protecting Anna is her in her imagination allows her to cling to her identity. Aww, that's really fucking sad. Quint, hi. Hi, Quint. Hmm. You again. What do you want? Let's talk. It's my fault that Becky died. I should have stayed with her around the around the clock. She was killed by a, vi a vicious criminal. If you were there, you would have been killed too. What do you know? I would have given up my life to save Becky. I would give any ev e I would give anything, even my life, to save her. Oh, that's 
You it's really sad. Oh god, is he gonna fucking steal the bones again? Willie. How are you doing, boy? Hey Willie, wait! Where are you going? Kason, I hate you with all of my heart. Dulis, <sighs> has he stole the bones? Because I've already done this case. Yes, I understand. I can do that as soon as I get outside. It's fine. Apart from they disappeared. Let's talk to you. Hey! York, do you want a drink? What do you recommend? How about a tequila sunset then? Mick Jagger lo a lo love effect a a fair, a fair with one of these beauties is well documented, and so you're a, a romantic one. All men are romantic, you know. Even you, I'm sure. Ask yourself seriously. By the way, did you see Quint's menu, York? His menu's a little different from mine. Just adds a little per a personality from the place, right? You pick whichever of you want to serve you. Let's take it easy, okay? Talk. Quint wants to see Becky pretty much every day. He was trying to help her, but still, she was killed. It's such a pity, those two girls, they were still so young. Did Becky give anything to Quinn? I don't know, he's never said anything like that to me at least. <clears throat> I just want to let him be for a while, you know. So did Kaysen, like, leave? Like, he's like, my dog stole your shit. Ha ha. <laughs> and then just, like, walks up and left. It's not going to be as easy as last time, is it? Well, when I saw him, I just legitimately just kind of went to the back of his car in the place and took it back. No, his truck's still here. Okay, never mind. Zack, I'm glad I don't need a warrant to search a doghouse. You got a sternum. A laggy sternum. A very laggy sternum. Please go away, sternum. You got a right foot bone. You got a left foot bone. Looks like we've picked up a little bonus, too. We'll have to give Willie something to make up for this another time. And so I got a first aid kit that was sent to my toolbox because I don't have space. I've already done that quest, why did it come up with it again? Okay. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay. Uh. Uh. Eh, I don't know what else to do. I didn't really do much in there, but oh well. Uh, where else could I go? Just wander around, I guess. I don't know. Drive around, see what's where. Yeah, oh, mind the tree, mind the tree. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, what the fuck are you doing? Turn around. Get back on that road. Also, help me, God. Okay. Oh, it's closed, never mind. I thought it was open. I don't know why. No, 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 no! Fuck. Oh, it's open. Let's go. It's open, we might as well. We have time to spare. Let's see what we get. See what we gosh dilly darn get. Let's go. Oh. Um. Hi. Hmm. Is there anything you want? I've come to see what you're selling. You have a really good reputation. Don't trust what you hear out there. Information can be totally controlled in this day and age. I'm well aware of that. But I can smell the difference, it's important in my line of work. Information smells bad when it's fake. And my shop smells okay, doesn't it? Something like that. 
Weasley, do you take pride in your work? Guns are tools for killing. It isn't a job to brag about. But any job needs pride in it for it, ha for it to be done well. That's why I think. A mixture of hu humility, hu hum humility and pride. That's the way to be, alright? Looks like my nose was right again, Zach. Talk. Let's see what he says. You've got quite a selection here. No wonder people come from all around. Compliments do nothing. I strive to meet my ideals. Others may judge my results. The words of a true craftsman. Your job must be your hobby. No, I have another hobby. You do? Aside from work. Tell me then, what is it? It's nothing special. Since I was a kid, I always liked to collect cards. Cards? Like trading cards? That's right. Wait, can I give my cards to you? That reminds me. I got this one after I came to this town. I got quite a few. Hmm. This is a precious one. Where did you get it? I picked it up around here somewhere. I didn't really think much of it. I see. Then how about a trade? A trade? Here's an idea. As a collector, I just love looking at rare cards. I'd love to take a look at the cards you have. I won't take them from you. <laughs> And I'll give you something, depending on how many you show me. You'll pay me just to look at my cards. You really must be a card freak, huh? Rude. Kind of. View list. Uh, Weasley, the owner of the shop Panda Bear, is an avid trading card collector. Show him your collection. Eight cards will get you a small thank you. His shop is hours are from 20 to 6. Okay. So that's when he's open. Will you show me your cards? Sure. Why the fuck wouldn't I? Of course. I think You've I have got a more cards. than eight. I've never seen any of them before. I appreciate you showing them to me. Here's a little something, as promised. I got another card. If you find any new cards, come show them to me, will you? Why did he give me a card? I thought I was gonna... Okay. Oh, the... 16 cards with a moderate thank you. Okay. Okay then, that was interesting. I was actually gonna go buy stuff from him, but I just forgot that I was about to do that. Eh. I have full inventory anyway. Okay. Get in the car. Might as well just head off and stay at the location because I don't think, unless there's somewhere in the way, I won't really bother. Because, to be fair. Oh, actually, I might go get gas quickly and repair the car. That might be a plan, actually. Okay, let's go. Because it's open, so I might as well. Let's go! Those windows are very bright. Hello there! Hello up. Pump it. Like you said, woman. I know someone you to clean my car. Please don't do the sensual dancing. Hey there, cutie. Oh, you just can't stay away, can you? Oh, you don't have to say a thing. I can tell no. you've come for the special. I came service. for you to clean my car. <laughs> Ooh. Bubbles. <laughs> Washing cars is fun. Shiny. Mm, looks so pretty. <laughs> Okay. 